you don't need much equipment. Pretty much in the last 10 years, this is the only equipment that I've used. Even when I had my small training studio in my basement, my athletes, all I ever did with them was pretty much dumbbells, barbells, or cable machines. You don't need much more than that. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I've got something a little new for you guys. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys on a tour of my coaching studio. I've had this place for about three years and I haven't really done a tour, so I figured why not do it today? And if any of you guys are looking to either create your own home gym, or if you are a trainer or coach who is looking to start up your own small studio, then maybe this can give you some ideas of some equipment that you might want to incorporate because my space right over here, it's not the biggest space, so I wanted to maximize the equipment that I got and make it the most functional and stuff that I use on a daily basis. I didn't want to overload this place with equipment that I was never going to use. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the tour. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the EMS machines. These units right over here, it's electric muscle stimulation. It's something that I do more with my models, actors than with my athletes. With my athletes, I will incorporate these toward the competitive season, especially with my fighters. I work with a lot of professional fighters and professional boxers. I'll include a link right up over here actually to one of my fighters when we got him ready for his UFC Fight Pass card. He was headlining that and in the lead up to that the last three weeks before his fight we ended up using a lot of the ems training into his boxing program but they're really really good the way that it works you wear this vest the vest has all these different pads that connect to all the major muscle groups and then we're able to stimulate the muscles simultaneously and it's roughly the equivalent of a 90 minute training session in 20 minutes the results are pretty pretty good when i first got these units i was very skeptical i didn't think that they were actually going to work but after a few months of using them on actual clients and seeing the results they were definitely a really really good investment pretty much every single person that has tried the EMS twice a week for one month after one month the results have been anywhere from 3% to 8.8 body 8.8% body fat loss Again, though, the, when it comes to weight loss, a lot of it is going to come down to diet. They didn't just do this twice a week and expect those results. No, they ended up doing their supplement protocols. They did their nutrition. It wasn't just 20 minutes of EMS twice a week. So I don't want you to get it twisted thinking that you could do this twice a week for 20 minutes and you're going to get miraculous results. If you don't change up your diet, you're not going to see those types of results. But anyway, let's get on with the rest of it. We also have some snacks over here. I haven't touched these in over a year since I've been strict carnivore, but... Last year when I was eating these, because they were right in front of my face, I was going through them like crazy. Because of the carnivore diet though, pretty much all my cravings have gone away and I pretty much can walk past them without any issue whatsoever. But anyway, this is about the gym, not about the food. So next we have our dumbbells right over here. We have the light ones. We got the fives all the way to the twenties. And then we have the actual dumbbell stack right over here with all the pricing over there. And this little girl over here, everybody always asks me, is that my daughter? And no, it is not my daughter. This is, I'm a monthly donor for the Sick Kids Foundation. If you live in Canada, the Sick Kids Foundation is a great organization to be able to donate to. And you could become a monthly donor and it's as little as $1 a day. You could donate $30 a month and it would really help them out. They are trying to build a new wing for their children's hospital. And when I originally partnered up with them, this was about three years ago and they were just past the halfway mark of their goal. So they should be coming up pretty close on their goal. If you can afford it, I would highly encourage you to check out the Sick Kids Foundation and donate to them. And if you don't live in Canada, then find some type of children's hospital or some type of organization that means something to you and try to give a little bit back. But anyway, I'll talk about the rest of the gym. So we have our dumbbells over here and we also have the competition kettlebells. The reason that I really like the competition kettlebells is because whether you are using an eight kilo kettlebell or a 44, the size is exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about changing up your form and you could just worry on the actual exercise itself you don't have to worry about your technique being off because once you go from 8 to 12 to 16 all the way up the size is the exact same so your form never gets jeopardized but that's pretty much it for the the free weights i got some more dumbbells over here we got the 50s all the way to 120 i was originally supposed to go up to 150 but the original dumbbells that i had in mind it was going to take them about three months to get them in stock and i could not just sit on this place for three months so i just ended up going with the element fitness ones and i'm pretty happy with them aside from the fact that i didn't get the weight that i wanted they do go up to 120 which is more than what most commercial gyms are going to have most commercial gyms they'll top out at 100 so i'm at least happy that i was able to get that plus if you've seen in my one arm barbell row you know that if you don't have enough weight you could always just do a barbell row with uh, you could do a dumbbell row with a barbell and yeah we got the kettlebells over here again we got all the way up to 44 kilos I got some 
fractional dumbbells over here. So we got all the two and a half pound increments, the 12 and a half, 17 and a half, 22 and a half. Also some mini dumbbells for when I'm doing assessments on people. If I'm checking out their really small stabilizer muscles, then most people are not gonna be able to lift very much weight. So if I'm doing something like a trap three raise or external dumbbell rotation, particularly on very, very petite clients, then those light dumbbells are going to be great for assessment purposes. The only machine that I actually have is a chin dip assist. And the reason that I have that is because if you're unable to do dips or chin up with your body weight, this is a great piece of equipment to have. But in terms of my actual equipment, this is the only actual machine that I have. Everything else is all free weights and functional. I also have some dowel rods. The dowel rods are really, really good if you are focusing on technique. So let's say you're trying to help somebody with deadlift. This is something that I'll do with a lot of people that have never deadlifted before. What I'll do is I will take a dowel rod, put it on their back, and then tell them that they don't want their butt, their back, or their head to leave the dowel rod. And it really helps to get the point across about keeping a neutral spine when doing a deadlift. So dowel rods, they're not really equipment equipment, but I would highly encourage you to get them if you are a coach and you are trying to teach somebody any type of lift that they're unfamiliar with. If you don't wanna get a dowel rod, you could also get a technique bar. This technique bar right over here, it's only 20 pounds. And with the, all the different plates that I have, you could pretty much do a deadlift with as little as 40 pounds and it would look the exact same as if you were doing 135. So if you don't wanna get dowel rods, you could also get a technique bar. I've got a couple different Olympic bars. All three of them are 2000 pound capacity. Got a couple, couple of uh, farmers walk carries and then in terms of the actual squat rack this is the squat rack I end up getting the squat rack that had the cannonballs attached to it which if you've never done a pull up with that it makes it exponentially more difficult because instead of having a nice closed grip that you can hold on to you have to grab on with an open hand so it makes it a lot more difficult and in terms of the actual weights we've got all bumper plates the reds are 55 the blues are 45 the yellows are 35 greens are 25 the blacks are 10 then we have the fives two and a halfs and the fractional plates fractional plates if you don't have them if you work with any type of elite athletes particularly with power lifters if you're working with elite power lifters i would highly recommend that you get fractional plates because once you get to your one repetition maximum especially if you're an elite lifter five pounds can make a big difference and it could be the difference between failure and success so if you are working with elite power lifters i would highly encourage you to get the fractional plates they go from a quarter pound all the way up to one pound so you could go in increments of half a pound and it would be a lot easier than going up by five pounds for someone that is approaching their one repetition maximum aside from that we also have a plyo box jump thingy over there for people that want to do plyo boxes i don't actually use them for jumping when i use it i always use it for my strongman stuff so i have some balls over there slam balls that go up to 150 pounds and i will use those to simulate an atlas stone lift so that's what i use the actual plyo lift for we also have a glute hammer raise this is something that a lot of gyms don't have and they should have it it's a great piece of equipment and a lot of people have really really weak glutes and hamstrings so if you are somebody that is looking for more functional equipment this would be much better than something like a hamstring curl or a hip extension machine because you can do both of those exercises on that and it's more functional because you're actually using your body weight and you're not using a piece of machine that does all the stabilization for you also have a landmine really good for anybody that does a lot of twisting sports so again i work with a lot of professional boxers the landmine is really really good for working with them also have a bunch of little fun tools right over here we have the rogue dog bone i love the dog bone just like the cannonballs you have to do pull-ups with a really open-handed grip and it's going to make it a lot more difficult another thing is we have the rogue arm blaster I don't really train arms often. I'll train them maybe once a year, once every couple of years, but I did use that last year, I believe around the same time, around January of last year. And it was really, really cool. I only used it that one time for about a four week period, but it was really, really good. Have some equalizers, a rotator cup thing. We got some V-bar dips over there. And we also have a sludge hammer. The sludge hammer, I will use it a lot with the tire, especially with my athletes, but you can use it pretty much for anything. You could use it if you wanted to, to hit the actual bags, or you could just kind of go do some swings with it. But that's the equipment over there. We also have a cable machine, a dual cable pulley, and it has all the pull-up attachments on it. Really love this machine. It's from Element Fitness, and it is really, really smooth. So if you are looking for a really good cable machine, this one's a bit pricey. It was $7,000, but the smoothness of the way the actual cables is really, really good. That's the main selling point for me why I got it. The cable machine that I had in my home gym a few years ago, it was basically the same machine, but a very, very low quality one. I got it for 1200 bucks and it was really, really stuck. It would not, it was not very smooth at all. So this is one of the pieces of equipment that I'm most happy about in my gym right now. And it's something that I use quite often. Then I also have some fun little attachments over here. We have these three, four inch 
I don't even know what you call them, but they're for doing things like chin-ups and hangs on them, dead hangs. And I used to be really into rock climbing a few years ago. That's why I got them, just to improve my grip strength. And those things are amazing. To be able to hang with a four-inch grip and just hang on there, even without doing the actual chin-up itself, just hanging from it is incredibly difficult if it's something that you're not used to doing. But that's pretty much it for that. I have a bunch of little pieces of equipment. We have a walk-through hex bar right over here. The walk-through hex bar is amazing because you can use it to do farmer's carries or you can use it just to do hex bar deadlifts. Really, really good. And then in the corner over there, we have a few more cable attachments and not sure if you can see it, but we have a 360 bar for curling. The 360 bar, I love the 360 bar because if you were to do something like a Zotman curl, a Zotman curl, you are curling in a supinated position and on the way down, you're going in a pronated position. One of the things with regard to curls is a lot of people, well, most people, you're gonna be stronger supinated than you are pronated. So with a Zotman curl, and with the 360 bar, what you could do is you can curl up where you're strongest and then you can overload where you are weakest to strengthen the areas that you are weakest, whereas when you are curling in a pronated position. So that's why I really, really love the 360 bar. Also have the strongman log, strongman log. I, I enjoy doing strongman training every once in a while. So that's why I got that. I got the farmer's carry, the strongman log, these to simulate the Atlas stone lifts and then got a rebounder, the rebounder. I will use it a lot with my fighters and I will use it to mimic the movements that they do in their fights. So I'll get them to do something like grab a medicine ball or a slam ball, toss it against there just to simulate a punch and really good piece of equipment. Have some mobility stuff over here. Got a foam roller, a tornado ball bag, and also have some yoga blocks. Then over here, we have some clubbells. The clubbells are really, really good. And again, for twisting sports, they're really, really good because you can, if you have, let's say, baseball players, hockey players, you can really get that twisting motion and mimic the movements that they are doing in their sport. We also have some battle ropes and some flow ropes in there. We got the jasmine cushion. We have a, we have an incline board. We got some Swiss balls, some plyo boxes. Obviously, we got the Muay Thai bags because I work with a lot of fighters. We got the Scott Curl. Scott Curl, I very rarely use it. The only time I really use it is when I am assessing elbow flexor strength. But aside from that, it's not something that I use too often because again, I don't really train arms. I'll do it maybe once a year. And when I do train arms, I rarely use the Scott Curl. But if you are the type of person that likes to train arms, then the Scott Curl is a great machine. Got some Bosu balls, got some more yoga mats, my massage chair right over here. And then we have a 100 pound weight vest. Aside from that, we also have some gym rings. I have a couple sets right over here. Got the low one for dips, the high ones for chin-ups. And then we also have, can't really see it, but we have right over here, these climbing ropes. This is something that I really wanted to get because I'm a big fan of doing things like one arm pull-ups and the climbing ropes are really good uh, pre exercise to be able to do a one arm pull up because if you're unable to do a one arm pull up that would be an excellent regression to the one arm pull up so if you want to do them then pick up some actual ropes now let's go ahead we got some more stuff over here some more functional stuff we got all the bulgarian bags and a lot of people have been asking me to do more bulgarian bag videos i made a video a while back i'll include a link right up over here it's a 20 minute bulgarian bag workout and i've heard your comments i know you guys want more bulgarian bag workouts so coming this year i'm going to start uploading a lot more bulgarian bag workouts uh, some more fitness related equipment in here just a bunch of little toys we got some punching boxing gloves we got some muay thai pads we got the body bag we got a lot of equipment right over here. And of course we have all of our medicine balls. The medicine balls, we got them from two pounds all the way to 25 and then from 30 to 150 in these slam balls. And then here is where I do all my filming. All of the videos that you guys see me do with the TB Fork logo in the background. This is the room that I do it in. Those are the lights. Here's the camera. I use the Canon SL2 Rebel something, something, something. And I've got my good friend Johnny Bones right over there. He likes to watch me when I make my videos. And yeah, this is the actual room. Originally, this was my massage therapy slash fascial stretch therapy room and my assessment room. But I work with a lot of pretty tall athletes. I work with some Olympic volleyball players and some NBA players. So to be able to stretch them in this room, it's not very practical because I'm constantly moving the table, which is why I decided to actually move my main massage table into the main room. So when I do fascial stretch therapy or massage therapy or active release or anything like that, I always do it out here out in the open. If you are looking though for a good massage table, I use the Earthlight table. I've been using that one for over a decade and it is absolutely amazing. I love that table. It's a little pricey. It was around $800, but you're better off spending $800 on a table that's going to last you over a decade than $200 and buy a new one that's going to tear every couple of years. That one's really, really sturdy. I've worked when I did my massage therapy program, the massage therapy school that I went to, they ended up upgrading all of their tables and they ended up upgrading by actually downgrading. They got some cheaper tables and they were not very sturdy at all. I remember doing a fascial stretch therapy treatment on one of the students, even though it was massage therapy school, she wanted to experience it. 
And I went to reset her sacrum, I got on the table, I pushed down on her knees, and I heard a crack in the table. This table over here, I've had athletes that are over 300 pounds. I've had 350 pound athletes on there. I've gotten on the table, I've pushed on their knees to reset their sacrum, never had any type of cracks or anything like that. That table is really, really sturdy. So if you are looking for a sturdy table, if you're a fascial stretch therapist, massage therapist, acupuncturist, anything like that, I'd highly recommend the Earth Light table. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the tour. Right over here, I'm gonna show you the washrooms washrooms this was another one of the really big selling points for me the washroom was absolutely gorgeous and when we walk in we have the live clean hand soap it's paraben free alcohol free it's everything free if you're vegan it uses vegan ingredients it's not tested on animals and this is personally the hand soap that I really like using I don't get paid by them but it's just something that I really enjoy if you are the type of person where you're really into all organic everything then live clean is a really really good brand so go ahead and get that here is another great thing, the showers. I love these showers in this room, and they are massive. Really, really nice showers. I know this is one of the big selling points for me. Also comes with some lockers right over here, and the washroom. The washroom, this is a giant stall. One of the things is I live in Canada and in Richmond Hill. Legally, this was the smallest we were allowed to make the washrooms. We wanted to make it half the size, but legally we could not. So we had to make this giant washroom because it had to be wheelchair accessible. And even if you have, oh, I, I've had patients come to me that are in wheelchairs and even for them, they have way more room in here than they actually need. I don't know why the requirements made it that way, but Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the tour because this is really not the point of the video, but I just wanted to show you the washroom because it's really nice. I'm not gonna bother to show you the men's change room. It's essentially the exact same as the women's, only it's mirrored. So when you walk in, in the women's, you have to make a left-hand turn to get to the actual showers. In the men's, you make a right. So it's the exact same shower, just everything is opposite. Here are the suits for the EMS units. Pretty much, you wear them, all of these different pads connect to the major muscle groups. So we have the upper back, the mid back, the low back, we have the glutes, we have the hamstrings, quads, abs, chest, everything. We can fire up all the major muscle groups simultaneously. That is why you burn a lot more calories doing the EMS training than you would doing an equivalently timed weight training session. So the EMS training is really, really good. And right over here is my portable massage table. This one, it is a dirt cheap one. I didn't want to spend extra money on the portable one. so. This one over here is the one that I use with my athletes when I go to their events. With my fighters, a lot of times what will happen is I will either go to their apartments or if the, if the actual venue is close to me, we will go to the venue and I will just set up over there. So this is the one that I take with me when I am treating outside of the actual office. But when I am treating inside of my actual studio, I use the Earthlight one that I showed you guys earlier. And here is the tire. I don't know if you guys saw me doing any videos with that, but I was doing some a lot of strongman training last year, and I was using the tire quite a bit. The tire is really, really fun. If Even with the sledgehammer, the sledgehammer just take it and smash the hell out of the tire. It's a lot of fun, and the athletes really enjoy it, so it's a nice piece of equipment. These are all the suits that you have to wear underneath the EMS machine, and then we have all the towels, and right over there we have some pillows. I work with a few pregnant patients and when I'm doing a fascial stretch therapy treatment if you are working with a pregnant patient especially if they are in the third trimester you don't want them lying down on their back because it could be very very uncomfortable so by using the pillows what you could do is you can elevate them so it's almost like a semi-seated position it's it's not they're not lying down on their back they're not seated it's kind of a 50 50 they're half seated half lying down but it's a lot more comfortable for pregnant patients so if you do plan on working with pregnant patients and they are in the third trimester getting some towels just to elevate them would be really really beneficial aside from that we have some supplements right over here all of the supplements I carry are pretty high-end and they're all really really good companies I don't like carrying companies for the sake of carrying different companies I research all the companies that I end up purchasing and the ones that I carry right now it's Poliquin group metagenics ATP labs designs for health Nutridyne, a few other ones designs for health all of the companies are really, really good. If you are looking for a good supplement brand, look into those companies. I'm not getting any money from them. I end up just using them because I like them. So if you are looking for some really good supplements, I would highly recommend those brands. And then we have some more supplements right in here. Running a little bit low. Gonna have to make an order soon. Aside from that, this is where I do have all my tape and all my assessment tools. As you can see, I'm a big fan of rock tape. I have about 40 packs of rock tape over there. I also have some 
Kinesio Techs, I'm not, I'm not generally a fan of this one. I'll use the Rock Tape H2O with my pro athletes because it really, really sticks to the skin really well. If I'm dealing with an elderly patient that has sensitive skin, then the Kinesio take, uh, Tape is going to be really, really good because it does not stick too much to the skin. So if you have somebody with sensitive skin, this one is going to be a lot easier to take off. So if you are working with children or elderly patients with sensitive skin, the Kinesio Techs Tape would be a lot better. If you're working with professional athletes, especially, especially triathletes that are in the water eight hours a day, then the Rock Tape H2O is going to be amazing because you could keep that on all week and it is not going to come off. We also have some structural tape. So the Rock Tape and the Kinesio Tape, it's very, very stretchy. It's cotton and it can move around a lot. Whereas the Elasticon or the Luco Tape, it doesn't have any stretch whatsoever. So if you're trying to improve function and allow mobility in the area that you're taping, you would want to get something like the Rock Tape, Kinesio Tape, K-Tape, anything like that. If you are trying to stabilize an area, then you would want some structural tape that has no stretch whatsoever, like the Elasticon or the Luco tape. Also have some resistance bands, have a Spegma manometer, have all my assessment stuff over here. We do a lot of nutritional medicine profiling. And one of the things that I do with all of my patients is I will do a blood glucose reading. So that's what this is right over here. We have the, the one touch and yeah, pretty much that's it. Got the rock sauce. All my assessment tools are in there. When we do assessments, we got the goniometer, the inclinometer, we got a head carriage meter. I don't know what exactly you call it. It's a check caliper. That's what it's called. It's the check caliper. And pretty much, yeah, that's all the assessment tools. Got the Tim Tam. The Tim Tam is really, really good, especially if you need to do something really, really quick. If you're doing something like ART, it's very, very painful and it is going to destroy your thumbs. Not only is it painful for the patient, but for the therapist, your hand is going to be absolutely destroyed after doing a very short treatment. Whereas with the Tim Tam, 10 seconds, you could get rid of an adhesion. So if you are the type of person where you do a lot of trigger point therapy, or if you do ART, anything like that, that could be a lifesaver for your hands. I'd highly recommend getting that. And then we also have the Earth Light head pieces for when people are in doing a massage or fascial stretch therapy because you don't want to use the same type of face covering for every single person. They're not going to enjoy that. And then let's go in here. If I ever feel like eating, I got my little ceramic stove top right over here. And then of course, got a bunch more tape. We have the KT tape over here and then a bunch more rock tape. I do a lot of taping, not, not quite as much now. I was doing a lot more taping in the past, but for the taping, it is something that I do fairly frequently, which is why I do have all the tape. And yeah, aside from that, we got the washing machine and dryer just to be able to clean everything that we have. And nice little fridge. Actually just went on a little bit of a grocery haul right now. Not sure if you can see it, but we got some glutathione in here. And then we also have just some cheese and some other stuff. I'm gonna be taking that home later, but that is pretty much it in terms of my actual studio. That is all the equipment that I have. If you are looking to either make your own home studio or if you are looking to build your own coaching practice, this is the equipment that I would recommend that you get. Pretty much all you need, squat rack, dumbbells, cable machine. If you have that type of stuff, that's your foundation. After that, then you could start to build uh, upon that. So things like if you wanna get some medicine balls or some Bulgarian bags, some more functional type of equipment. But those are the main pieces that you wanna work on if you are starting your own coaching practice. Just make sure that you have a good set of dumbbells, you got a good squat rack and a good cable machine. If you have those three pieces of equipment, you're gonna be really, really well off. You don't need a ton of equipment. A lot of people, when they come in here, especially people that have never trained before a day in their life, they will say you don't have much equipment and you don't need much equipment. Pretty much in the last 10 years, this is the only equipment that I've used. Even when I had my small training studio in my basement, my athletes, all I ever did with them was pretty much dumbbells, barbells, or cable machines. You don't need much more than that. And if you can't write up a good program with those three pieces of equipment, then you probably need to educate yourself a little bit more on program design or different exercises because those with those three pieces of equipment, you can come up with millions of different exercises. You don't need 50 million types of machines with one pair of dumbbells. You could pretty much replace every single machine in a gym, whatever you can do on those machines, you could do with dumbbells or barbells or a cable machine. So you don't need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on equipment as long as you have those essential pieces, but that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. So I know to make more of these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.